thousands of Americans are living with a disease you may know nothing about. Just this month, the FDA approved the first new drug to treat sickle cell disease in more than 20 years. I spoke with one man who says that small move could make a big difference. It's not a disease that you know people passing would know. Uh, it's something that afflicts me. Michael Loyacano looks like a healthy 30-year-old man. You know, on your good days, you're operating at you know 30 to 40 percent capacity and energy as other people. That's because Michael has sickle cell disease, a condition diagnosed at birth. It causes normally disc-shaped red blood cells to instead be sickle-shaped, causing a host of health issues. Over time, that leads to a lot of. Um, difficulties with the tissues that are involved in that they simply don't get enough blood flow chronically and so they don't work very well. As a kid, um, as, you know, playing sports, being subjected to high heat or jumping in an extremely cold pool or, or doing these things that uh, for a lot of kids felt like a pretty mundane uh, you know, kid activity uh, had sort of serious and sometimes dire consequences. Those consequences are incredibly painful episodes. Imagine being a child every time you go to bed, you don't know if you're going to wake up that night and be in you know, screaming or, or, you know, excruciating pain, uh, having to be, you know, you know, shipped to the hospital as soon as possible. You should have to listen a while with your heart. A new drug called Endari could offer some relief. Dr. Beth Hellerstedt says it could reduce the frequency of those painful incidents. Every single measure that we can do to be of assistance is going to be an improvement for these patients and their quality of life. This is the first new drug approved for sickle cell in more than 20 years. Michael, a husband and father to a young son, is excited to see if Endari will work for him. I was delighted to get the news. I probably had, uh, I don't know, half a dozen of my friends text me the day that, that I came out. He hopes it's a new step toward a more normal life and of more new treatments to come. Ideally, we'd like to find something to eradicate sickle cell, but this is a great step in the right direction and more uh, funding, research, resources dedicated to this, I think, would have a, a profound impact. And there are a lot of sickle cell resources here in Central Texas. To learn more about Andari and other treatments, see the link with this story at cbsaustin.com. A new way to